Awesome. Thank you for doing this, man. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Even though I'm I'm beat. I just flew from New York to LA for something else. So this is <laughs> I, I'm out of it, but it's perfect because I only saw the movie a month ago. But no, um, congrats. Like it's I'm sure it's very cool but strange, but also just kind of if I don't think about it too much, it's it's all good, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess you just you described it pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, crazy experience, but I think yeah, when I was in it doing it, um, all of my focus was just yeah on the work at the time, and wasn't really yeah think, considering or thinking about people seeing the movie one day or like being in a movie theater or anything. Yeah. Just kind of uh, doing the work, you know. Yeah. Or let alone like, oh, I'll make the movie. People will like it, but then I can't talk about it because there's a strike going. Like I didn't plan that. Like. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Um, I I imagine, you know, it's I, I heard you on the press conference yesterday talking about like, you know, you're never sure what it's going to be like when when you get there. Like, you know, you kind of have the idea of like the acting part because I've done that before. It's different. Mm -hmm. it. But like other mm -hmm. people have done it, you know, for money and, and you know, and gotten awards and things like that. Like, what are they like? I love the line right. you said. Do they go plug in like between the like, <laughs> right? So how do you how do you sort of relax once you know that that's not the case? Because I'm sure on the first day you're like, well, I don't know what these guys are gonna be like. They could suck. Like, and I'm and yeah. I'm like they're allowed to suck. They're famous. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I think they also were. I'm, I think they were aware of that. I think that they were aware of the fact that I probably, you know, was was nervous and didn't really know what to expect and. Um, they really made an effort with the first day that I met both Paul and Divine um, to, to show me that, yes, they are normal people, too, and that they're here to support me and help me be successful. So they really, you know, fostered and, and created this, this uh, you know, familial bond environment for, from the get go that just made it seamless to go into scenes with them and, and you know, just put everything out there. Well, yeah, I mean, also for them, even if they weren't amazing people, they're greedily, we'll do better if you do better. Why would we want to just bully you and make your life miserable? Then we'll get yelled at. No one's going to blame the kid. It's going to be the veteran. Exactly. Yeah. It, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I, right. I mean, I put myself, I definitely put myself in their shoes and, and Alexander's shoes as well. It's, you know, I can't imagine being one of them and, and seeing this guy come in who's never done this before and, you know, don't know anything about him. So I can imagine they were, they're probably a little bit apprehensive, you know, um, rightfully so. <laughs> yeah, but, like, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think um, if, if there was any apprehension, they didn't show it. And um, I, pretty quickly we, we understood that we were going to be able to work together effectively and there wasn't really going to be many speed bumps along the way. But yeah, once you once you get to the point where you're like, I can work with this person, everything else is a bonus. But the fact that then you can go like, well, the movie also will work better if we naturally become closer. Like this could this could really <laughs> work out. And, and you know, Alexander has that reputation of like, oh, here's like a wonderfully decent human being. Like this this is probably <laughs> not going to be a miserable experience. And you know, right. I think it's probably also conducive to doing the work because I'm sure at the beginning you're still you know like, okay, this is I I, I can do this. You, by the, you know, there's a certain point where I think you find your rhythm, just like they find their rhythm, but totally. you know, everything else building up to it, the more you have of that, the more you can sort of at the end of the day go, you know, I think, I think no one made a mistake here. Like this is, this is going to work out. hundred percent. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then just like, as you're getting into it, like, how do you form those bonds? Cause I think, you know, you don't have to naturally do it, but by the end of the movie, the three all have different understandings of each other. And I think to some degree, as three very different people, you kind of come to that organically. And I, I was listening mm -hmm. to talk about how he like was fine with that. Like, obviously, like, yeah, do do that. How do you sort of find that? And and especially when you haven't had set experience like they did, like, oh, what's the protocol yeah. for the end of the day? Do we do we all go get dinner? Do we all fuck off? Like, how does this work? Like, how do right. you find that that comfort zone? Uh to spend time with each other, really. I mean, you know, we, we spent a lot of time with each other off set and, you know, off camera, but I, I really credit Alexander for creating an environment for everybody, not just us actors, but every single crew member where we all felt comfortable with one another and, and comfortable working with one another. And there was no like drama or anything that, that, that 
that came up or, or anything like that. So there was no distractions that, that kept us from, from forming these, these relationships. And, you know, like, yeah, I mean, we would, we would get done and we were just kind of friends, you know, like we, yeah, we were working together, I guess, but you know, as soon as we finished, like, pretty much every day I would hang out with Alexander after we wrapped and we'd just like talk about the day and, and talk about what we did. And, you know, I'd spend the weekends at Paul's house and stuff. So I think it was just, it got to a certain point where it never really felt like we were going to work. We were kind of just, you know, hanging out more. <laughs> it's, it's the best work. Like anyone who complains yeah. about it is doing it wrong. So you're right. already it's off. Not the... work. It's not a bad word for it. Yeah. Yeah. You're already off to the races that you're like, wait, we're making pretend and like there'll be a check in the like, <laughs> <Right>. yeah <laughs> tell me more <laughs> exactly but uh, i think i think i think you're right in that also having the set be that way like i i'm oddly became friends with bruce dern who was in mm. nebraska with, with Alex yeah. and talked about how he would know everyone's name on the set and like thank them for coming to work and like have a right. relationship with them and know something about them and that's mm. It's not normal, but you know, from the outside, you're like, why isn't that normal? Like the guy holding right. the camera or the guy with rigging the stuff, he's as important and like he's doing a job, yeah. like he's living his dream. Right. Like it makes sense that on a set where things are going like that, that the final product would look like that. Like I don't know that right. you know, if you have a bad time, you'll have to make a bad movie. But I feel like almost all the times that you have this, oh, we we think we all did something great and we had a good time, it shows. Mm -hmm. like, you can tell. Right. Like in life, you know when you're on a bad date, you know when you're you're not totally. having a good time, it, it shows. And I think when you're having a good time in a movie, it shows too. Exactly. Yeah. It's not that he yeah, it's not that Alexander, you know, demands, you know, this this level of professionalism for everybody. It just comes naturally because of like the type of person he is, you know. I think obviously everybody's excited to be working on one of his movies in the first place, but then to see that he treats you the same as literally every single person on set you're you're gonna bring your best foot forward every single day and you know it's not like he has to pull teeth to get people to do that they just do it because you know they like him <laughs> which seems pretty simple but you're right it's like why why isn't it like that more often and why aren't people willing to create that environment well not every filmmaker is making like pasta for everyone after the after the day wraps that seems to be <laughs> maybe limited to just him but still yeah, right the, oh he's a great cook yeah which again, if you are, why not? Why why not share? But <laughs> yeah, I think, I think you're right in that. Why wouldn't you want to go put your best foot forward? But even if it wasn't that fact, it's still like we're doing something very cool, and we're mm -hmm. doing something pleasant. Like it's even within the the confines of what you're doing, you're not being asked to like, you know, hang upside down for six hours long. You're you're being asked mm -hmm. to spar with someone essentially verbally and. Right. What do we do with our friends? It's kind of the an elevated version of that. So I imagine exactly once you're in it and you're finding the rhythm, it's it's got to be so much fun. Yeah, it, it is fun, and that's you know, it, it, right? It's not. It doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like you're doing a job. You are, you know, that's what I was passionate about in high school. It's what I did after school. You know, to relax, to to forget about the the day. Um, so to be doing it all day was was such a treat. Oh, yeah. Had you how many had you seen a lot of his films, or was it once you got the role going? I should probably check this out to make sure I know what I'm getting into. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd seen um, Descendants was the, the movie that I knew most from okay. Alexander because I read the book in school and, and also watched the film in school. Uh, but I mean, I wasn't a big movie person, movie watcher at all, really. So once I got involved with with this process and you know knew Alexander was directing it. Yeah, that's when I, you know, made the decision to really get to know his stuff. And, you know, I think election was probably something that was uh, most referenced. I, I referenced that most out of his yeah. work to, to prepare for this um, this role. It also is just, I think, maybe the most timeless thing he's done. Like, it only seems like yeah. fitting. Of course, yes. <laughs> Well, I mean, also, I'm, if there's tools there. I think you want you go. Okay, I see the dynamics in that. It, it would have been funny if you're like, so I made a lot of notes about downsizing for you, Alexander. For <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's just his style. I mean, I think the the, the way he, he capitalizes and on, on you know making silence hysterical. Yeah. He does that a lot in, in election. I think, and it sh does similar things in, in this movie. So yeah, yeah. I think it is, you get a good sense of his his film style. Or just like quiet moments that mean something. I think you know Divine has so many of them here when mm -hmm. 
so many other people, the instinct would be to make it bigger. And I think it's worked so much better here because it's small in the same way yeah. that, like, about election, like the janitor in that ends up being so <clears throat> brutal, but you would never think about it because it's never played. Right. Like, yeah. By the way, look over there. It's everyone in this movie means something. And, and he just does that so well, I think. Exactly. Yeah. And you mentioned divine. It's, you know, a lot of her performances, she was, she was saying something the other day about how she felt a lot of her performance felt like she was making a, a silent film almost, you know, she was just, uh, yeah. you know, doing these, these, these full monologues with the expression in her eyes and her face and, and all of these things. And it's really impressive to see that and how he's able to, to capture all of that is, is also impressive. Right. Well, I mean, so much of it is also, trust you know like mm -hmm. here's your process go for it and and you're we're only going to see the good version so like trusting the director right. you know if i need 10 takes to yeah seven or bad like don't worry about it go for it yeah i know i mean he he's definitely someone who he's not going to move on unless he's happy and you know if you know he's happy yeah, you can kind of feel happy because <laughs> you, you trust him you know someone like that um but but yeah, I mean, there's definitely times where it would take one, two takes and then other times that would, you know, you'd have to wrestle with it a little bit more. But um, he 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 never he never shorts his actors and he, he waits until he gets what he wants out of them. Yeah. And, and as we sort of wrap up when, you know, obviously you want to feel good about what you're doing, but when you mm -hmm. first see it, like either if there's a daily he shows you or there's a cut or just, oh, that's me on screen. Yeah. How do you sort of. Cause that's a whole other world. Like, mm -hmm. how do you then continue? Cause I, I imagine the first time you see it, it's, it's a little strange to be like, Oh, that's, that's me. It is strange. It, it's super weird, but I think, you know, the, the one thing about watching it for the first time, especially on a big screen was I just was so concerned about how distracted I might be by, you know, myself seeing my own <laughs> face. Um, but I think the fact that I was able to really live and, and enjoy the movie for what it was and not be paying attention to myself the whole time uh, was it was a good sign that I maybe was doing something OK, you know, <laughs> that I, I wasn't <laughs> sticking out like a sore thumb, at least to myself. So okay, no, more, more than more than a good thing. Paul, though, we're going to talk about that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that would have been funny if you're like, I, I got notes for you there, bud. Um, I, I think right. it's. Yeah, it's going to work out because I think you're going to be in, in more very soon. So I, I think you should be very proud of this. I think it says something that people go out of their way to talk about how good the performance is when two actors who people love to praise are right there, too. So the fact that nobody right. forgets that this is three characters says something. So you should be very, very proud about it. Totally proud of it and, and flattered in every single way. Oh, yeah. I uh, thank you for doing this. I look forward to when you're too famous to do this with me. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Take care. Congrats again, man. Enjoy it.